Welcome to Network Boats, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 15 biggest cruise ships in the world. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Let's begin! Number 15. Cruise Ship – Norwegian Joy 167,725 gross tons Norwegian Joy is a part of the Breakaway Plus class owned by the Norwegian Cruise Liner, a well-renowned company in the industry. Norwegian Joy and her sister, Norwegian Escape, are both parts of the same cruise line and were launched sometime in 2015. Joy weighs about 167,725 GT and is 333.46 feet long, having the capacity to accommodate almost 3,880 passengers at a time. The cruise was designed by Meyer Werft in Papenburg, Germany, catering specifically to the needs of the Chinese market. One of the main reasons for that is that Joy has a godfather, a Chinese singer Wang Li Hong, rather than a godmother for a patron. Joy will be moved to the new home ports in Tianjin and Shanghai soon. Joy is pretty spacious and powerful, having five main engines to propel it on the sea. The framework features over a thousand staterooms, theaters, spas, pools, bars, nightclubs, gyms, decks, and eating places where you can spend your time. Number 14. Cruise Ship Ovation of the Seas, 168,666 gross tons. Ovation of the Seas is the third and final ship in the Quantum class series and outweighs the Freedom line of cruises by almost 14,000 gross tons. It is the second largest of the passenger ships, weighing 168,666 gross tons, and was manufactured by the Royal Caribbean, coming next only to Oasis. Ovation starts her journey from Tianjin during the summer months and lands up in Sydney for the southern summer. The entire framework of the cruise is pretty much like the other ships from the Quantum class, except that Ovation is a bit smaller by a couple of meters when compared to the other two. The Ovation is a part of the Project Sunshine as well and features over a thousand staterooms, some of which have decks, balconies, while others are equipped with huge windows and wheelchairs for the elderly or handicapped guests. There is no dearth of entertainment. While you are here, check out the theaters, spas, bars, casinos, nightclubs, pools, a sports center, an art gallery, an observation deck, and restaurants, to name a few venues. Number 13. Cruise Ship Anthem of the Seas 168,666 gross tons Anthem of the Sea is the second largest ship of the Quantum Class cruise liner that surpassed the Freedom Cruise Line by almost 14,000 GT. Owned by the Royal Caribbean International, the Anthem was constructed on April 10th and christened on April 20th, 2015. It was built in Meyer Werft Shipyard in Papenburg, Germany, and delivered in the fall of 2014 under the Project Sunshine. Anthem first set sail from her home port in Southampton, England in 2015 to prepare for her European summer voyage. It was during this trip that she was officially christened by Emma Wilby, a British travel agent. The maiden voyage was an eight-night cruise to Spain and France. From there, the ship traveled to the Mediterranean, Northern Europe, and the Canary Islands. During November, the cruiser operates seven to 12 night itineraries to the Caribbean and Bahamas from Cape Liberty and Bayonne, New Jersey, United States. Anthem of the Seas has a gross tonnage of 168,666, very similar structure to that of the Quantum Ship. The staterooms cater to all the needs of the guests. Some of them are even equipped with wheelchairs for supporting people who have some handicap. Other than that, there's a sports court, an observation tower, wave pools, bars, theaters, casinos, dining spaces, and plenty of lounges to relax around. Number 12. Cruise Ship Quantum of the Seas 168,666 gross tons Royal Caribbean Cruise has launched quite a number of cruise liners that sail all over the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Belt. We've already discussed the Oasis series and mentioned the Freedom Class Cruises. The Quantum of the Seas is a leading ship of the Quantum Class Cruises that surpassed the Freedom Line. It's the second largest passenger ship that weighs 14,000 gross tons heavier than its preceding cruise liners. Quantum, weighing 168,666 gross tons, was a part of Project Sunshine and was constructed in the Meyerwerft shipyard in Papenburg, Germany. Quantum of the Seas spent her initial years sailing around Cape Liberty and Bayonne, New Jersey, United States, before finally returning to her home port, China, in May 2015. After 2015, however, the cruise ventured out to far-reaching routes and sailed three to eight itineraries throughout the year, from Shanghai to Japan and Korea. She reached Hong Kong sometime on June 10, 2015. Quantum of the Seas was named on November 14, 2014, 
by the American actress and singer Kristen Chenoweth. The cruise features 16 passenger decks, eight of which have balconies overlooking the ocean. Other than that, there are 2,090 staterooms, double-storied loft suites, studios, restaurants, casinos, bars, a music hall, and even a kung fu-themed noodle bar on the pool deck. Number 11, cruise ship MSC Meraviglia, 171,598 gross tons. MSC Meraviglia is the leading ship of the Vista project vessels owned and operated by MSC Cruises Company that made its debut only recently in June 2017. It was constructed in Chantier de Atlantique shipyard in Saint-Nazaire, France. Weighing almost 171,598 gross tons, Meraviglia is considered to be the fourth largest cruise ship coming second to only the Oasis-class cruise liner by the Royal Caribbean. The ship initially was confined to sail around the Mediterranean, covering Malta, Barcelona, Marseille, Genoa, Naples, Messina, Savita Vecchia, and Palermo in her inaugural season. The MSC Meraviglia can house about 4,500 guests at a time, though news of expanding the design of the ship has been making rounds in the tabloids. Meraviglia is large enough to offer a complete vacationing experience to travelers within the cruise itself. The promenade features an LED roof, then there is a water park, four water slides, a Himalayan rope course, two theaters, one located at the back of the ship, over 10 restaurants, and a luxury spa. Number 10, Cruise Ship MSC Grandiosa. 181,541 gross tons. Owned by MSC Cruises and constructed in France, the MSC Grandiosa is one of the three Meraviglia Plus class cruise ships with a capacity of more than 6,000 passengers. She completed her sea trials and entered service in the fall of 2019. Christianed by the legendary actress of yesteryear, Sophia Loren, the MSC Grandiosa has cruised across the Mediterranean, calling in at Genoa, Barcelona, Marseille, and Rome. In 2020, she was set to be relocated to Brazil for a South American tour, but those plans are shelved for the time being. In the late summer of 2020, MSC Grandiosa was the first large cruise ship to return to the sea after a five-month hiatus. The shore trips are, however, sanctioned by MSC and strictly under their supervision. Number 9. Cruise Ship MSC Virtuosa 181,541 gross tons like her sister ship, the Grandiosa, the MSC Virtuosa is a brand new cruise ship straining at the starting blocks in her home port of Kiel. Built at a cost of 800 million euros, the 331 meter long vessel can accommodate over 6,000 passengers. MSC has always chosen to explore new vistas, and on board the Virtuosa, it is in the form of a humanoid bartender. Remember Arthur from the sci fi film Passengers? Besides, the ship promises a new experience with a 92-meter-long LED-lit sky dome and a 101-meter-long promenade. The ship would begin service in mid-April, with three tours between three and ten nights long. Number 8. Cruise Ship Mardi Gras 181,808 gross tons The Mardi Gras is set to make waves when she arrives at her home port of Canaveral, Florida. Delayed several times, the vessel has been at last handed over to Carnival at the end of 2020. Weighing a massive 181,808 tons, the 1,130-foot 1 behemoth has had a special berth built for her at Port Canaveral. It cost $163 million to build the special 188,000-square-foot terminal from where she would tour the Caribbean once the pandemic eases. Her maximum capacity is expected to be 6,500 guests, housed in over 2,000 rooms. On the top deck, the cruise ship would have the first at-sea roller coaster known as Bolt. The 800-foot-long ride would have cars traveling at 40 miles per hour, a quite unique thrill on the high seas. Number 7. Cruise Ship Ada Nova 183,858 gross tons In 2018, the Ada Nova became the first cruise ship that was powered by LNG. The technology was developed by Meyer Werft Shipyards of Germany after a decade of research. She is set to be joined by two sister ships of the same excellence class in 2021 and 2023. With a capacity of 5,200 passengers and 16 decks tall, the vessel is an impressive sight. Ada Nova tours the Mediterranean and Canary Islands. There is a giant eye on each side of the ship and huge red lips at the bow, making it look like an oversized mermaid. There's a large variety of entertainment on board, including three huge water slides and a theatrium with a 360-degree view of the sea. 
The ship offers its guests 20 types of rooms with duplex penthouse suites to more cozy and very affordable offerings. The body and soul spa that occupies two decks extends over 80 different treatments from around the world. Number 6. Cruise Ship Iona 184,089 gross tons Also owned by Carnival, but operated as part of the famed P&O cruise brand, MS Iona was named after an island off the coast of Scotland. The largest ship operated by P&O, the Iona, can carry 5,000 guests and is LNG-powered. There are 17 eateries on board, of which 8 are for luxury dining experiences. Guests can also relax at one of the dozen different bars spread throughout the ship. The best feature of the Iona is the vast Sky Dome, a huge swimming pool topped by a vast glass cover that offers a clear view of the sky in all directions. The pool is covered by a retractable stage and can be used for parties in the evening. The ship was set to start operating from the summer of 2020 with a cruise to Norway from Southampton. That did not happen due to the pandemic, and operations are set to resume in 2021. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Network Boats with notifications on. Number 5. Cruise Ship Costa Smeralda 185,010 gross tons The largest ship owned by Carnival and the fifth largest cruise ship in the world, the Costa Smeralda is powered by LNG and is environmentally friendly. If you're looking for sustainable vacation spent in style on a green vessel, make a beeline for this beauty. The lounge at the center of the ship, Coliseo, has an atrium that is three stories tall. The boat has the last word in contemporary decor, with classical interiors designed by Dordoni Archietti of Milan. Spread throughout the ship are 11 restaurants that serve continental and traditional Italian fare. If you want to experiment, then drop in at Teppanyaki, a grill restaurant inspired by Japan's hibachi style of cooking. The ultra-luxury ship was supposed to tour the Mediterranean from 2020, but soon after her launch, the pandemic forced a hiatus. She's due to resume her touring in the summer of 2021, with a trip to the Persian Gulf and Dubai. Number 4. Cruise Ship Oasis of the Seas 225,282 gross tons Oasis of the Seas is perhaps the oldest of the Oasis-class cruise ships that have now been eclipsed by her two sisters, first Allure and then Harmony. As part of the Royal Caribbean cruise, she was constructed sometime around 2007 and finally set sail two years later in November 2009. Initially, the cruise was designed to accommodate 6,000 passengers. The capacity has gone down since. The Oasis-class cruises were preceded by the Freedom Class, also owned by Royal Caribbean, to become the largest cruise ship in the world back then. Oasis, like her sister Allure, was a part of the Genesis Project and was christened on the basis of a contest held in 2008. The gross tonnage of the cruise is 225,282, same as Allure. The wide hull measures 31 feet and is large enough to maintain the balance of the heavyweight ship without increasing the draft. Moving on to the amenities provided, the cruise features spacious luxury suites, two loft rooms, and huge balconies that provide a 360-degree view of the ocean. Other than that, there's a casino, a mini golf course, multiple nightclubs, a karaoke bar, five swimming pools, volleyball courts, theme parks, nurseries for children, and several comfy lounging areas. Number 3. Cruise Ship Allure of the Seas 225,282 gross tons Allure of the Seas is an elder sister of the Harmony Cruise Line owned and operated by Royal Caribbean International. MS Allure is again an Oasis-class cruise that was considered to be the largest passenger ship until 2016, i.e. before the Harmony was introduced. The cruise liner was designed as a part of the Genesis project at the Perno shipyard Turku, Finland. She was Christian sometime in the May of 2008 after a contest was held to name her and her sister Oasis. She finally set sail on the 10th of November 2009 and was out on the seas all year round in the Caribbean region, becoming the first ship to sail throughout the season. Allure of the Seas is the same length as her sister Oasis, measuring about 360 meters. The gross tonnage of the framework is almost 225,282, featuring a double-story dance hall, a theater, an ice skating rink, 25 dining halls, a Starbucks, and about seven distinct neighborhoods or activity areas. Number two, cruise ship Harmony of the Seas, 226,963 gross tons. Royal Caribbean Cruise happens to be among the most popular of cruise liners that have introduced loads of luxury ships that cater to the elite. The Harmony of the Seas was built by STX France Chantier de Atlantique Shipyard in Saint Nazaire, and is considered to be one of the finest Oasis class cruise ships in the world. Weighing about 226,963 gross tons, 
She is definitely the largest passenger vessel today. It first ventured out into the sea on May 15, 2016. Her first destination was Southampton, England. And it was only by the 23rd of October that the cruise finally crossed the Atlantic. The initial voyages weren't much of a hit among the passengers, as most complained about the lack of hot water, bad service at the restaurant, and other issues. However, the quality of services improved drastically once the overall construction of the cruise was completed. Harmony of the Seas has a total of 2,747 staterooms that can house more than 5,000 guests at a time. The suites are well furnished and equipped with the floor-to-ceiling screens that give you a picturesque view of the surrounding waters. Other than that, there's a vanity spa, Splash Away Bay water slide for children, a casino royale, an aqua theater, a royal theater, four swimming pools, ten hot water jacuzzis, and more. And the largest cruise ship in the world, number one, Symphony of the Seas, 228,081 gross tons. It is the world's largest cruise ship as of mid-2018 and can carry 6,680 guests. Not only is it the biggest, but with 18 decks, the Symphony of the Seas provides unparalleled amenities. A part of Royal Caribbean's Oasis class of ships, the ship is 1,184 feet long and larger than any ship barring oil tankers. The facilities include a water park with a full-sized water slide known as Ultimate Abyss and a 43-foot tall rock climbing wall. Besides, the onboard auditorium can host 1,400 guests and is packed with shows. Specialty restaurants on board include Jamie's Italian and Izuma, which serves delectable sushi. Besides, the main dining rooms have the choicest recipes available throughout the day. If you want to cool off with a beer after all the activity, drop in at Schooner Bar or English Pub, the most elegant among the dozen on board. Her home port is Miami, and she cruises the Caribbean. Equipped with the latest Azipod main engines, the ship consumes 25% less fuel than other comparable size vessels. And this completes our list of the top 15 biggest cruise ships in 2021. Which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comments section below. For more, subscribe to our channel and check out some of our other popular videos. Thanks for watching.